What if your music is not your ministry? Mm. What if your life is your ministry and your music is your job? Come on. He doesn't need me to make music right. for him. Yeah. He needs me to live my life for him. Yes. No, 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 no. God's, God, God ain't going to hand you over. He, there's going to be a lid over your life. Mm. There's going to be limitations to what you can and can't do. It's a, uh, one of the issues with like where we're at with like TikTok and all that kind of mm -hmm. stuff is like everyone just has immediate access to just be a... a Bruce Lawn. I think when a Christian does continue practicing sin. I don't think their salvation is in question. I think their sanity is in question. I think you living, you knowing the truth and you knowing God's ways are better for me than my ways and continuing to live like the world and continuing to practice sin, I think that's one of the most dangerous places to be in because I feel like God won't let you get away with that. Like like someone that's not saved might, might be able to get away with all kinds of wild stuff. No, 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 no. God's, God, God ain't going to hand you over. He, there's going to be a lid over your life Mm -hmm. There's going to be limitations to what you can and can't do to your mm -hmm. level of peace. And we see it, bro. Like, how many, I mean, come on, bro. How many Christian, like, I've said this before. I think Christian rap, bar none, is substantially better yeah. than secular rap. Like, bar for bar, so on and so forth, right? We're incredible. Like, I mean that genuinely, yeah. right? Yet, there seems to be this, like, There's lid. There's a lid on it. Because Cass be living yeah. kind of reckless behind the scenes. No, I, yeah, I, I understand it. I, I think I think you might be onto something. I think that, that might be true. And I've, I've thought about that a lot, by the way. Like, because mm -hmm. we had, you said that in the, the interview we did with Any Tribe. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like, I think God got a lid on this thing mm -hmm. because, you know what I'm saying, Cass is wilding. And mm -hmm. I think that, I think that that could very much be true. I also think that that, what you said is, is very important for a lot of young Christian artists right now. It's like, yo, making music for God, mm -hmm. like that point you made about making music for God mm -hmm. is, in it, that's a, that's an important point. I think mm -hmm. that there's a lot of people that are under the like. I was talking to um a homie of mine that was you know it's like yo like my music is my ministry and I I proposed a question to him. I'm not even saying I'm not saying this is right. I'm not saying you know I'm saying this is what I do or anything like. I'm just I proposed a question. I was like, what if instead, what if your music is not your ministry? Mm. What if your life is your ministry and your music is your job? Come on. That's good. Right? Or or even if it's not your job, what if it's your your hobby? Mm. Like, w would that be sinful if you make music for you and for people mm -hmm. and then you live your life for God? Mm -hmm. Right? So, like, meaning, dog, like, how much more, how much, I, I don't know. I just wonder how different of a space we would be in if people stop putting so much focus on what is the... How many times we say God in a record mm -hmm. and, and or, or you know, saying whether or not we're going to perform at churches or not, or I mean, like stop focusing so much on that and just focus on living your life like Jesus Come and on. being a disciple. Come on. And then you can make songs about girls. Yeah. You can make songs about, you know what I'm saying? Like right. it, it just as long as it's not debauchery mm -hmm. and actually calling what God calls evil good mm -hmm. and calling what God calls good evil. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> I actually have a lot of bars in my um music about me wanting to fight people because i very often <laughs> very i want to fight people right now i got three people right now Yo, that I, chill, okay chill, all right chill, okay. Chill, chill, but chill, you know what i'm saying i got <laughs> i got i always be i always be thinking like that but i always every time in the music and in my real life because i have people that call me back to this and i have people, like i have to not behave how the world does yep. and actually follow through and you know what i'm saying go fade people yep. like i i can't I can't do that and be like, yes, I want to live my life like Jesus. Right, right. It's 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 an incongruent, incoherent exactly. statement. Exactly. And so I think, in in pursuing these things, man, you may not know I make music, but I got a new song coming out, and it's something I need you to do. But first, I want you to hear a snippet of the song. I went from being a porn addict to sharing the gospel with a porn actress who was criticized for being low status by the same only fans who treat us so lavish i'm confused i swear y'all thought he did doing podcasts hot takes he still can rap now in order to get this song to the top of spotify i need your help i need you to click the link below or go to ruslan to the moon.com and pre-save this song what is a pre-save it means that this song will be added to your library to remind you to listen to it the day it comes out and it also also tells Spotify's algorithm that millions of people need to hear this song. So help me promote Christian music that contextualizes the gospel and will help change lives by going to ruslantothemoon.com or clicking the link below. Oh, they got me with the dramatics. You know that a moment cannot be said. There's so many of you guys that like feel like you need to perform for God, and I'm telling you, I promise you, 
You need to abide in your identity as a as a as a new creation, and the rest of it you need to work on. Like work yeah. on these things, man. It's so interesting. Like we we have the story of of Jesus, like in the scriptures. I don't mm-hmm. know which gospel this is in, but when he, when he's in the house with Mary and Martha, mm-hmm. and Martha is doing a bunch of stuff for God. Mm-hmm. She's doing so much for Jesus. Yep. She's going crazy. She's yep. in there. She was saying, bust down on the dishes right quick. Mm-hmm. Bust down on the meal. Yo, I'm busting. Like, I'm, I'm going crazy. And Mary is like, well, I'm just actually just going to sit here with Jesus. Yep. And one of them gets very, uh, I, mean, I don't know if it's like rebuked is the is the right, but it's yeah. like, yeah, like, look. <laughs> kind of rebuked, low key. Yeah, kind of yeah. rebuked. It's like, look, mm-hmm. th- this is what Mary's doing. And, and she's she's doing something better. I just decided next time people were like, yo, how is this music for God? I'm going to go, it's not. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, <laughs> like it's just, he doesn't need me to make music right. for him. Yeah. He needs me to live my life for him. Yes. Yes. He and needs you to, to, to be a, a godly man, you know, and to lead your wife and your home and all those different things. Um, yeah. And so, yeah, man. So I don't know. I've, I've been thinking a lot about this and I, and I think about some of the dysfunctions within Christianity. Mm-hmm. And I guess we overcome the dysfunction by being healthy, stable, functional, new creatures in Christ. And I think this mentality shift when it happens, I think it becomes a a, a, a freedom to not sin, like a freedom yeah. to walk in freedom when these things are lifted off of you instead of like, man, I got I to gotta keep doing. If I don't do this, I'm not yeah. really saved. Am I producing works? How many works? How many are too few works? How much sin? How much, how little sin? Right? Like all these different things and it, you're just bogged down by it. And yeah. instead of saying, well, let me go after the thing that I know, which is just abide in Christ. Yeah. You know, abide in Christ. And I think that's the, that's the, that that's the tension that I, I, I want to see people avoid because you're just you're just creating an unnecessary performance anxiety for yourself exactly yeah so um but don't be living like the world because you, you're playing yourself like you're playing yourself man yeah i got i got i got someone that uh she just yeah i'm not i, I can't go too too many details but you know this person and mm. they got they god has given them a reset multiple times yeah and it's hard but god is not going to let you if you're if you belong to him man you 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 got god ain't going to leave you there right and so the things that often oftentimes the things that we think are blessings if you're not functional and you're not stable and you're not ready to handle those things what could be curses and that's what i mean by a lid you -hmm. know like if i was making the kind of money i'm making now Mm -hmm. 10 years ago when i was 28 been a mess i would have been a mess it would have been all bad yeah it would have been all bad I probably I, I I would have been in a really bad place, uh-huh. and so yeah. Now I'll say the same for same for me. Yeah. I would say that if I had, and I was so frustrated. It's so funny, man. I was so frustrated. I was like, God, put me where I know I'm supposed to be, <laughs> man. If he would have put that kid mm-hmm. here, mm-hmm. good lord, mm-hmm. we would actually all be in in trouble. Yep. Yep. And so, and I think that that's like that's a, a one of the issues with like we're rap with like tiktok and all that kind of mm-hmm. stuff it's like everyone just has immediate access to just be a a celebrity out mm-hmm. of nowhere then you have people you know and i'm not gonna i'm not gonna say just in general but i feel like you give the potential to, to people that you know are gonna try and re- represent the faith that may, maybe shouldn't right now yeah 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 that's the con of it right before people became people had platforms because usually they did something Mm-hmm. Right. Then it kind of shifted to like people got platforms because they knew someone and they can do something. Now it's shifted to just like you could just go viral on an algorithm, have a platform and actually have done nothing. Yeah. You literally could, you could just be cute and funny and like pop off. <laughs> and like and, and again, that sounds dope. But trust me, for the 18, 19 year old kid that has millions of followers on Instagram, that's not dope. That's not, not that's not that's not it. That's not tight. Hey, this clip is from our daily after-party stream. If you enjoyed it, consider signing up for our Patreon community for only $5 a month where you get access to the replays of our daily after-party streams as well as the uncut extended versions of our podcast. 
Discord access that's private and a discount code for our merch store, only $5 a month. And ultimately, it's the best way to help us contextualize the gospel of Jesus using media, podcasting, and of course, YouTube. The link for that is in the description or in the pinned comment. Now, if you're like, meh, I don't want to sign up for $5 a month. I don't need another recurring subscription. Listen, I get it. You could also make a donation using PayPal, Cash App, or Venmo. But but we really want to get you on Patreon. I promise you, the perks are amazing. You should get on there. It's only $5 a month. I'll see you over there, all right? Peace.